and they don't want to do it. Got to do it yourself. As y'all can see, I am hard at work, but I want to make sure I give y'all this speed. Monday, don't mind the hair. I'm hard at work. I want to talk about Terrence Laird. I think that's how you say his name. Terrence Laird. Laird. I think it's Laird. Man, listen. Dude is the truth. Dude is the truth, man. I'm pretty sure some of y'all have heard of Matthew Bowling. I call him the media baby because he was the one everybody was going crazy about when he ran, um, I think, a win 89 9 or something like that in high school. Don't get me wrong, that's blazing fast. And I'm pretty sure they would have did it for any um, high schooler that ran, that broke the 10 second barrier. But it was especially crazy because he's white. Come over here. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's, it's not a too big of a common thing to see white guys being that fast. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got some fast white guys, but I think you only have one or two that has broken 10 seconds. I don't think Matthew Bowling counts. But he was the media baby. He's the one that every all the media outlets was talking about, whether it was Sports Center. I don't, I'm not sure Sports Center, but I'm pretty sure Sports Center talked about it. Um, and then, of course, all social media, everybody's sharing it. Like, oh, that white boy be blazing. But Terrence? Laird? I don't think many people was talking about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure he broke the 10 second barrier when he was in high school or whatever. But right now, when college, he's dominating. This past weekend, he ran 9-8. He ran a 19-8 in the 200, 9-8 in the 100 meters. Ran down Matthew Bowling in the 4x1. I'm going to probably click that in this video. I probably will. But they're going to give it to Terrence Laird on the anchor. He changed his hands. Georgia and Matt Bowling on the inside. But here comes Terrence Laird. Forget beating him on an anchor. It's LSU, Georgia. The dude... I didn't think anybody would ever run down Matthew Bowling. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were in front of him, I felt like you could pull away from him. Or if y'all were neck and neck, you could pull away. But to actually run run him down from about three steps, four steps behind, run him down and then pull away from him? Terrence Laird did that. Yo, if you're into speed, you know what I'm saying? If you're into racing, you're not pulling into track and field. You know what I'm saying? If you're into track and field. Man, check him out, man. Check him out. Like, yo. That man, hey, that man is... That young man. I mean, because he's still in college, so... I don't know how old he is. He, he could probably 20. Something around there. But, oh my God, he's already in the history books of being... If not top 10... I mean, he's probably, he probably not top... He might... He's probably top 15. Because you, know you got a couple... You got a 9-5-8 guy, then you got... Two nine six guy, and then you got a couple nine seven guys. You know what I'm saying? So he's probably top 15, possibly already. You know what I'm saying? Ain't even out of college yet. And then you peak at different times, whatever, whatever. But he he's looking he's looking flawless. And it's crazy because his running style doesn't look really strong to me. It looks it looks so um, easy. It looks like he's not even trying. Like when you look at Matthew Bowling run, you can tell he's all power. You can see, you can see where it's coming from, but him, it's just flawless. Like he's just he's like a cheetah. You can see it. Well, when you see a cheetah running without slow motion, you can barely see it. You know what I'm saying so. It's probably the same with him. When you put him in slow motion, then you can see where all the power and technique and everything. I mean, you can see the technique, but you can see it all in slow motion. But I don't know. It's just so flawless that you can't see it when he's like running. It's crazy, but Terrence, that boy, hey, he's a beast, man. I'm like, I hope he's American. Because a lot of these, you know what I'm saying, athletes come from other countries and run for our American colleges. I hope he's American. I don't know. I don't know much about him. I need to look, look into him more, check out his Instagram, stuff like that. That's all I got for y'all today. I had to put this together real fast because, um, like I said, I'm hard at work and I got to get back to it. All right.